red 0 red 1 red 5 and red 10 red stand for redundant array of inexpensive disks or some people like to call it redundant array of independent disks there are four major types of RAID. RAID 0 which is called disk stripping which basically means you are writing the half of the data in one drive and that's half of the data in another drive. So RAID 0 minimum need two hard drive. So one hard drive have one piece of data another hard drive have another piece of data. Without one hard drive the data can't be read or written. And RAID 1. RAID 1 stands for disk mirroring basically which means the same data have been write on one drive and the same data will be written on the second hard drive basically which means same copy of first hard drive onto the second hard drive which again two hard drive require. RAID 5 is called stripping with priority which, which basically means you have to use three minimum hard drive. Some of the data will write on one hard drive, some will be basically written on another hard drive, but you will have some fault tolerance, you will gain some extra speed. And for example, if you use lose one hard drive from the three hard drive, still you can recover your data. In RAID 10, some people like to call it RAID 1 plus 0. Basically, it's based on RAID 1 stripping, I mean, basically, and then with RAID 0, I mean, it's copying. So, RAID 10 is one of the most complex RAID, but it really give you the excellent redundancy performance. Yes, that is RAID, the most popular RAID, RAID 5, and then even you have to figure it out. Should you use the RAID controller card or should you just download a software? If you are using the RAID in a software, your RAID will be slow. The best thing is to use RAID is in a controller. Just go to your local brick and mouse store or just for ask them for a RAID controller. At least it will cost you 300 US dollar. So that is RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, under 2 minutes.